Hello. As a Tech alumni and teacher, I have seen many changes occur here at the school. I have learned many things from the teachers here to my fellow graduates and you, the students. I do not believe that I know everything, and I feel that even while I am working here to teach you, I am also here to learn from you. Now, my educational adventures do not start and stop at the doors each day I come to work, but they continue as I go home and I'm on the go. I read newspapers, journals, blogs, I watch the news, the Discovery Channel, and the History Channel. But I want to let you in on a little secret. That is, you can learn a lot from Facebook, especially life lessons. So, I have a question. How many of you have a Facebook account? Don't be shy, it's okay. All right, now, there are many types of Facebook posters out there. You have one group of posters, which I like to call the braggers. And they include those who enjoy talk, taking snapshots of their food. Does anyone know anyone like that? Nobody? Does anybody do that? Okay, we have one in the back. Uh, usually, they go into the effect of having some sort of comment along with that picture, such as, be jealous, you wish you were here. Also known as a hashtag, I am here and you are not. You have a group of people posting what I call the woe is me post. And posting information, informing us all, or at least those who pay attention to all the negative things that happen to them every single day. We have the posters who put private messages as their public statuses. We have a group of posters who enjoy posting comments such as, remind me to tell you about how great my day was, or I'm heading to the gym, eating lunch, going to the mall, and then possibly doing my homework. These posts are hilarious, as these posters want us to be their personal secretaries and know what they are doing every waking minute of the day. Now, I know by this point you're wondering, where is this Mr. Smith fellow falling into these categories, and why does he believe that you can learn a lot from Facebook? Good question. I'm part of my favorite category, the reposter category. Reposters have one important job on Facebook, the sharing of information and materials with others. Now this is a double-edged sword, as one may be a negative reposter or a positive reposter. I'm on the positive side. And believe me, I share many good things with my peers using this tool. Now, I mentioned that I've learned many life lessons from Facebook. My favorite life lesson comes from sharing pictures of Tyrannosaurus Rexes doing funny things, such as posting, such as attempting to make the bed, using extension grippers to be considered unstoppable, or even attempting to make an ice cream cone. Now, I might have a soft spot for dinosaurs. Maybe it's I'm still a kid. But I still laugh at these pictures, and those that view these pictures that I repost do the same thing. But there's one important post, there's one important reason I post these pictures. That even with his short arms, the Tyrannosaurus Rex still goes through, makes a goal, and accomplishes it. I was originally a student here at Tech, once even sitting in the same seats as you, being inducted into the same National Honor Society chapter. Over my years as a student, teacher, and coach here at this school, I have seen many students pass through these doors with very few goals in their lives. But the students who leave here with lofty goals achieve many wondrous things in their lifetimes. The goals for your lives start here. The goals that you set for yourself here in high school will follow you always. Never listen to those in the crowd who say, oh, you came from tech, you can't do that. You can do everything that you can if you work hard to get it done. Be like the T-Rex, find a way to make your goals a reality. This is my message for you. One of the message, messages and life lessons that I have learned from Facebook. I challenge each and every one of you to aim high and never give up until you reach that goal. As some of the best students that we have here at York Tech, I truly believe that the goals you set in place for your lifetimes will become reality. Always remember, aim for the stars and never settle for landing on the moon.